Hi Aries, a very warm welcome to 2019. Those of you who are new, welcome in. The crew and the tribe, those of you who are returning, Happy New Year and I hope you've been doing well. Now as for the banner, yes I have launched a new channel. So those of you who are new and you're a Twin Flame, feel free to follow. On both channels, both on Yildiz Readings and Twin Flame Alchemist to Union, I do give free readings away. Uh, that's during the live sessions as well as if I have time in my schedule, I will give um, one hour Skype bookings away to those of you who are subscribed. Um, so feel free to come and join. During the month, I have increased the amount of videos. Bear with me on the um, time frame for the videos. They will increase. I'm trying to maintain some sense of balance in the actual um, time frame. They will be increasing. I have added general and mid-month, um, both for love and general, both sides. So you're getting four videos a month, as well as any additional um, astrology updates and any psychic downloads I do get. Plus, I'll be on there to give you support during planetary transits, etc. So the videos will increase in length. It's just me getting my bearings into the new year. Now, the energy of what's coming through for you guys. Bookings below as well. And the website link does take you straight through. Okay, let's have a look what's coming through for you guys in January. In the romantic sphere, I feel as though you, you are in the hangman position. Now, some of you may have felt as though you don't feel connected to your path. Now, this can be in a love domain um, where you're undecided about how to directly deal with it, be it coupled or single. This is the frequency coming through. It may be that you're in limbo as to movement, both within or in relation to this love interest. Some of you are even questioning the connectivity, you know, how interconnected you are. I feel you're not perhaps seeing eye to eye or this is external to the both of you. There's just something that's not meshing at this point. It's a temporary energy though. There's a delay in making some sense of a decision. It can be at a financial level or a spiritual who do I invest in, how do I invest in, what do I want out of this connection. I keep saying finances though. It may be finances have directly impacted your romantic sphere. I'll show you the card. You got it in reverse. I'm feeling as though in some shape or form you need to go to the ocean or have water therapy. Some of you even for your backs, heat massage or Reiki. There seems to be a blockage and it's more in the base chakra. Some of you may be dealing with um, thoughts of fertility. That may be a block on your side or their side. One, how do I put it? Somebody will speak to you in relation to this, and I do feel they're going to have pearls of wisdom. I feel the connection is beyond that, but you're fearing it's not. This can be on your side or their side. But one or the other is looking at something in a sense of what they believe a whole package of a relationship is. But from some perspective, you're looking at it from very different angles. But I think it's more a mindset conditioning than a reality-based situation. It's not you, you know, one or the other may not want children. One or the other might not want um you know, you to worry about it. Um, there's no jealousy in relation to it. There's no envy frequency. There's a lot of, there is a lot of care here to be had. But I am seeing base chakra, especially with the hip being ever so highlighted. You know, it's, I'm really being drawn to it. And the fish as in the aspect of the fertility and the seeds of idea. Oh, both sides, I feel your career is going to really flourish. So if it has been hindered in 2018, I do feel romantically speaking, both of you are going to be pulled in two directions, be it you're together or you're not. And it's really to maintain some balance and, and get the 
the aspect of the finances or the career to actually be balanced to give you that. Now, if you're not having as much time, I do feel because both of you are going to be quite focused on it, you're going to have the respect, understanding and integrity to cope with it should you invest in the situation. If there is a delay in you coming together, it is for this direct nature. <clears throat> Either within the connection or very separately, you guys are dealing with um, all wounds together. This is for those of you who have had a connection with this person and you're currently not together. Even if you've just reconciled, there is an old wound that you're simply not having time to deal with. But this is within the connection, right? I'm seeing as though, again, the schedule is the dynamic that's hindering that process. But there is going to be unexpected joy. So it's like it's a temporary delay. And it might be you just want to get down to the crux of certain situations in the relationship. You want to talk about it. Um, especially if you're not together, you know, and you're wondering what this love interest is doing. Both of you are going to have a similar frequency going on to get grounded into the first two weeks. I do feel as though there is conversations that are wishing to be had. But there's a delay on that, okay? It's not a personal thing. It's a delay on that frequency. Attempt not to get triggered. That's on your side or the cross watcher's side. There is abundance at an unexpected level coming through. So, you know, if you, your partner or your love interest, however you take this, this is the reading for Aries, if they're waiting on cash component to come in, it is coming. It's just taking a little bit of time to come through. Any work both of you have put in is really going to reap the benefits. I'm also seeing something to do with the house. See the little red? So it's just popped up on the corner of the card. You might be communicating about, you know, maybe where you're going to live and if you're going to live together for some of you. Okay, this person's pretty cheeky. They confuse you. Look at the card. If you're directly dealing with a love interest currently, and, you know, you, you might have had a connection with them previously, if you can see on the card, there's one house to the corner, and he's sort of pointing his hand there. And it can be a he or a she, and there's another one here. It might be your house and their house. One's bigger, one's smaller, or they've got two houses. And they're sort of going, let's go to the smaller house. And you're scratching your head going, why are we going to that house? Something doesn't quite make sense, but there might be a conversation in relation to that. One may go up on the market for sale, right? Especially with the unexpected joy in the finances. This could be on your side, their side, or around them, an aspect of inheritance. They're seeing some situation of finances coming in. Now, the heart chakra is really open, and it's definitely with the 2-2 two, two, in duality with one another. But you are not going to be surprised by that factor, okay? What you've been through hasn't been a blessing, although in the end it shall be. It's more, it's been a raw organic process to really move through these. The energy coming through is really interesting. There's great energies coming through. Many conversations needed to be had. But the emotion frequency is going to be distorted, okay? So by about the second week, especially with everything going on, a lot of what was coming through um, for me psychically by the second week, all of us are really wanting that forward motion. You know, you're having the recovery from 2018 with the retrograde season and you're really wanting to get to the crux of um, moving forward in connections and relationships. If this is a person you're thinking about, this is their frequency they're physically going through. There is going to be a temporary delay into set ourselves into the frequency of 2019. And I mean, even at a two-week level, it's premature. But the emotions moving into the second week may be a little bit triggered. So if you do have that inner knowing of how this pe person operates, I do feel they've got several things around them really spinning their head. And to keep grounded is going to be incredibly important. I do feel lots of travel coming and going. I'm feeling you're a bit concerned about their mood. 
Wow. It's like five personalities. Might be a personality disorder, but it's temporary. I feel it's not a permanent thing. It's more, it's a bit like the dark, after the fact of a dark night of the soul. When you have energies around you being removed and you're changing, you're evolving. This is sort of the frequency I'm feeling with this individual, but it is a journey, okay? But I do feel there's a rushed movement and that can be towards you. You're helping them with something as well. And whatever you're helping them with, they're incredibly grateful. They're like, thank you for taking this off my plate. They're getting confused about some sense of a task. If you haven't heard from this person in their life, they're all over the place. Those of you who are waiting for this person to come back, you're going to have to have some patience. I'm not saying a long time. Whatever they're dealing with, they're tying it up very quickly. Look at the face really really quickly very confused very up and down running left right and center running the errands trying to get everything finished i am seeing for some of you a flight and movement to another location and this can be in relation for work but it's temporary it can't even be moving towards you okay if you are needing a booking as i said link directly below i feel they're going to get grounded Check up on your second week as well as do check into the general rate because there may be additional um, insight into it. Also try and look at the rising signs for deeper insight. Probably by, I'll, I'll jump on during the month and if you do have any questions, especially, you know, with, with whichever sign, hit me up and I can update. Otherwise, ask away.